scored the absence of Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard to clinch an ugly 1-0 win at bitter rivals Tottenham on Sunday. Oteta's side were without skipper Odegaard due to an ankle injury suffered on Norway duty, while fellow midfielder Rice served a suspension for his red card against Brighton. But the Premier League title contenders dug deep with a combative display, benefiting from Tottenham's latest display of wasteful finishing before Gabriel Mogales bagged the winner in the second half. The Brazilian defender's first goal since February made it three wins from full league games for unbeaten Arsenal as they chase a first title since 2004 after two successive runners-up finishes. Super happy obviously. We know what it means for our club and our people to win a North London derby, Arteta said. We had moments in the game where we had to suffer. We had to adapt a little bit because of some of the players we lost. I prepared for Tottenham for five days, then in one moment I lost one player and in another I lost another. I didn't sleep much. There were no excuses, no crying. The players have thick skin. They love the game. Sometimes to win you have to do the ugly things and they love to do that. I loved it because day after day the players are hungrier and hungrier. Arsenal have now won on their last three visits to Tottenham, losing just once, in May 2022, in their last eight meetings with their hated neighbours. The second-placed Gunners are two points behind Manchester City as they turn their attention to their Champions League opener at Atalanta on Thursday before travelling to face Pep Guardiola's champions next weekend. Oteta believes Arsenal's latest success behind enemy lines withstand them in good stead for a daunting week. We won three years in a row here. That is a big thing in the history of the club, he said. It is a tough week coming up. The players believe already. We have a won a lot of big games, but this will give us a lot of energy and belief. Since the start of last season, Arsenal have scored more goals 23 from dead ball positions than any other team in the Premier League. No wonder Arteta turned to embrace Nicolas Jova, the German assistant coach poached from Manchester City as Arsenal's set-piece guru, immediately after Gabriel's goal. I made the decision to bring him to City when I was there and to Arsenal, he said. Together with the rest of the staff, they have injected the belief that there are many ways to win games, and this is one of them, so big credit to them. It was another dispiriting North London derby for Tottenham manager Angie Postacogla. The Australian has come under fire for Tottenham's sloppy start to the season, which now includes successive defeats and only one win. Having conceded more dead ball goals than any top flight team except Nottingham Forest over the last two seasons, Tottenham's weak defending at set pieces was ruthlessly exposed by Arsenal. But Poster Cogler insisted that wasn't the reason for the loss, instead, pointing at Tottenham's lack of cutting edge and composure in the final third. Sun Hu Min was unusually quiet while former Bournemouth striker Dominic Solanke struggled on his home debut after returning from injury. We had some good opportunities, but we could have had so many more. We wasted our good play, similar to other games when we haven't had the conviction in the front third. You keep opponents in the game when you do that, Poster Cobbler said. Alan Shearer hails magnificent Arsenal duo after gutsy win against Tottenham. Alan Shearer has lauded the magnificent defensive work of William Saliba and Gabriel Mogales after Arsenal ground out a 1-0 win over Tottenham. Despite going into the North London derby without key duo Martin Odegaard and Declan Rice, Arsenal dug deep to secure a vital win away from home. Mikel Arteta's side were under pressure for large swathes of the game but defended resolutely before Gabriel's thumping header earned the Gunners their third successive away win against Spurs. But it wasn't just the goal that the Brazilian earned plaudits for, with Shearer singling out his defensive presence alongside centre back partner Saliba for Arsenal's win. They are big, they are strong, and they don't mind a battle. In fact, they love a battle and a challenge, the former England striker told Premier League Productions. They just got rid of everything that came into the box, they were absolutely magnificent. He continued when you go one goal behind against this Arsenal team you have got to do something special to get back because it's very very tough. They've got the best back for in the Premier League there is no doubt about that. The way they operate, the way they work, the way they are protected. Spurs didn't have an answer today not for the first tie this season but in the end they ended up just lumping balls into the box which are food to these two centre halves. While full-time, Oteta was also keen to praise his side's dogged willingness to grind out a result. 
it was a tough week, and instead of finding any little excuses or arguments to do that the opposite, face the challenge, play with courage, acknowledge our qualities and what we have to be able to do to win a game, and we've actually done it, he said in order to love the game and win, you have to do a lot of things sometimes people call them ugly. Enjoying doing those ugly things is a big compliment of this team right now, and when you're able to normally, you get a good gift. Ian Wright has singled out Christian Romero for making it very easy for Arsenal to score their winner in the North London derby against Tottenham. The Gunners inflicted another defeat on their arch-rivals on Sunday afternoon with Gabriel Mogale's powering home a header in the 64th minute to seal the win. As was the case in the same fixture last April, Tottenham persistently looked vulnerable from set pieces and were once again exposed when Bukayo Soccer whipped his corner kick into the six-yard area. Spurs goalkeeper Guglielmo Vicorio was at fault with club legend Glenn Hoddle slamming the Italian's unconvincing display. But Wright was also critical of Romero after Gabriel was able to shrug the Argentine off the ball all too easily. While the Arsenal legend admitted there could have been a case for a foul being given, he was convinced Romero should have put more pressure on his Arsenal counterpart. I was very surprised with Romero, it feels very easy for a defender of his calibre to be moved out of the way, Wright told Premier League Productions. I think it could have been a foul, but not enough maybe. That just seems very simple when you look at the proximity from the goal and where he headed it in, it's a very easy goal for Arsenal to score. Alan Shearer meanwhile was even more scathing in his criticism, insisting there was only one player winning their duel. There was one player that really wanted that to get onto the end of that and another who was happy to be shoved off it, the Newcastle legend said. Another Arsenal great in Paul Merson also sympathised with Spurs for not being awarded a free kick but also insisted Romero failed to deal with Soccer's cross. I'd be disappointed if I didn't get a foul. He's in the wrong position, everything is wrong about his defending, Merson told Sky Sports. He's a centre-half international, even I know, and I don't even play at the back you got to be side on. You got to see the ball and your player. To start off you have to be a hand length away and he's standing with him. I'd expect a foul.